And a very good morning and welcome to Blacktown International Sports Park. This is game two of five on grand final day in the Sydney AFL competition. And it's Sydney Uni v Pennant Hills as the Demons try to work it inside forward 50. Nice strike down towards the goal square, but the students, they just try and battle that football out of the contest. Smart work as the ball goes over the boundary line. So the students in their traditional yellow and blue stripes and, of course, the Pennant Hills Demons in the Melbourne Demons colours, the blue and the red. John O'Farr and Molly Gray, your callers for this one. We started with the Western Magic and Wollongong Saints, and now we go into Sydney Uni and Pennant Hills, and the intensity might pick up a little bit here in this men's division game. Molly, uh, how do you see this contest going this afternoon? Oh, absolutely. The intensity is always going to pick up because the men's games and the women's games are so different. But you know what? I'm excited to see what the boys can bring today. You can see already that both teams have come out firing. It is a grand final day, so you're expecting them to put their best foot forward. So nicely worked from Sydney Uni down the centre wing. Kicks it down towards centre half forward. Nice towering mark, but the one-on-one -on -one contest doesn't go the way of the students. And it's a good clearing kick there for the 14 in Harry Rivers. Rivers will kick it over that far side, over towards centre-half forward. The Demons will swing it through the midfield nicely. Good kick down towards centre-half forward. Just beats the pair of threes. Comes down towards the students. They just try and clear it down back. Ball goes out of bounds. Might have been a miscommunication there a little bit with Brent Pollock. And the ball just goes out of bounds. They probably saved it in the end. So both teams yet to score. And we're just over the 92nd mark in this second grand final of five right across the day. It's wonderful to have your company wherever you may find yourself on this Sunday morning. Nice clearing kick from the students over towards the centre wing position. Demons just throw it through the midfield. Soccering kick along the ground, as you can see, down towards centre-half forward. Nice work inside forward 50. Chance here for the Demons. They'll kick it inside that forward pocket position. Battle for the contest is on. Good work from the Demons. Great tackle over the top there. The 55 in Evan Danilo. And uh, he went pretty hard in that contest. And now the students will try and clear it down towards centre wing. But it's a nice contested mark there for the Demons. And they'll work it nicely through the 34 and Smith. Smith will kick it down and the 60 and De Lamar. De Lamar will have it nicely in towards forward 50. Uncontested mark trying to get there. Students come up with it. Good kick off the ground, but it's a wasted opportunity. And the groans from the crowd tell you the story of that goal. Peter Carey just going a little bit wide of the mark. Probably panicked a little bit there inside that forward 50 position, Mole. Yeah, absolutely. And it's those, you know, it, it's the start of the game and you just want to get points on the board. You want to set the tone for the game. And it is really important for the teams to get those points. But I think sometimes you just need to slow it down and focus on the points that you need, which is that six straight through the middle. So De Lamar trying to get the contest for the Demons, but it's worked nicely at centre half back. De Lamar's worked beautifully there. Puts the ball into that forward 50 position, but it's nicely marked at the back there by Greenwood. Greenwood will kick it along. That centre half back position down towards the boundary line. The Demons just trying to gather possession and Gregor will watch it go over the boundary line. So both teams yet to score about four minutes into this contest. Hope you're enjoying grand final day 2018. Of course, the Western Magic, if you've missed that game, they picked up a 36-point win over the Wollongong Saints earlier in the day. It was a terrific game of footy and it really shifted momentum towards the Magic in that third term. Now it's pushed down towards the midfield for the students. They try and work it nicely through the middle. Kick it down towards centre-half forward, looking for that uncontested mark. They flew high through Rort. Rort gives the ball inside forward 50 position. Huge opportunity for the students. The bounce is fortuitous and the goal superb. Josh Cutry, he gets the goal. Cut Rupi gets the goal for the students. The roar was enormous and they kicked the first major of the day. 
four and a half gone and already the students lead by six. How good to uni. That's really great. It's good to see that it only took four and a half minutes for them to be able to get some points on the board. And they started off with the six. So different to the women's game, what I've noticed, is that, you know, the teams are so spread out and that it is a lot easier and a lot faster for them to get the points on the board. Uni have set the tone for the day. They're off to a good start. So Josh Cunt repeat getting the opening goal. We had to wait two terms in the women's game. And that went to Siobhan Lusak. But we've waited four and a half minutes and already the goal is there to the students. So they lead it by the one major here in Blacktown. So the Demons trying to work it through the middle. Nicely played there by Irwin. Irwin kicks it over on the far side. And now the Demons swing it through the midfield position. Brilliant half volley pick up there just at half back. Nicely worked from the Demons. They're under some pressure here from the students. Good work over the top. Clever clearance there for the students and the 32 there in... Gerrity, Gerrity kicks it over towards centre half forward. Now the students have got numbers. They're going to slow it down beautifully. Goes across to Rutt. And as he kicked another one, he has. Unbelievable stuff from Josh Cutrippy. He goes bang, bang in the grand final. Superb start from the students, and they lead by two majors. Oh, Uni are on fire, aren't they? They're really good at communicating around the field as well as what I've noticed. You can see that when they're in the midfield, and then you've got the forward, in that when they're in the full forward as well, they're really communicating, letting them know where to kick the ball. And they're really trying to go to get the mark as well. Really good effort by Uni, great start. So the Demons already got some work to do, and it's been all Josh Cut Rippy. That has certainly let rip here in this grand final. Students try to work it through the middle. Nicely worked from the Demons. They've got some pressure to apply here, but it's worked nicely there through the 32. And Russell, he kicks it down towards centre half forward. The Demons, low trajectory kick, but it goes down towards the students. And now they'll, they'll try and clear it off their line through Russell. Goes across the line nicely through the nine in O'Halloran. He'll kick it down the boundary line, work beautifully back inside. Smart footy from the students. Comes back across to Gerrity. Gerrity gives it along the boundary line. Worked it nicely. Play on is the call from the umpire. O'Halloran kicks it down towards centre half forward. Nicely picked up off the carpet by the 27 in Robbie. And Robbie will watch the ball go to ground. Good little back and forth tussle between the two players there. Between the Demons and the students. And with seven gone, they lead by two uncontested goals. 12 zip on the board for the students. Nice coverage across there from the 24 in Gordo Willis for the students. So they're looking for an opportunity. It's been a quite a rise for the Sydney University students, of course, in the needful competition. They went down to the Canberra Demons, unfortunately, but in the divisions, they're appearing in five grand finals, which is... Wonderful for the students and shows you the depth that Sydney Uni can provide in the AFL. It goes inside forward 50, but it'll go out of bounds there. So a big grand final day for them. And of course, they'll be featured next weekend, both Saturday and Sunday in our grand finals. We hope we can have your company for another seven games of footy. And we've still got another three to go after this one. So... Two big weekends in AFL Sydney footy. Socket off the ground nicely by the students. Tries to clear it. Nicely cleared there by the 12 in Allison for the Demons. And the umpire will come in for the ball up just inside that forward 50 position. Comes nicely for the students. Works it off the carpet. Tries to come back at it. It's the 34 there in Smith that will try and work it for the Demons. But the ball goes out of bounds over in the ghost corner. So now players trying to find a position inside that forward 50 position. Nicely worked by the students. Kicks across. Good smother from them, but the play is on now. Students need a bit of magic here to get themselves out of trouble. And it's cleared nicely away by the Demons. Good work there from the 15 in Breen. He kicks along the centre wing. Down towards the boundary line. Smart work from the Demons. Look at them build along the boundary line. Starts to come back in field. Good kick down towards forward 50. Uncontested mark was taken there, but pushed away by the students. The 22 in Carey tried his best, but the ball goes out of bounds. So nine gone in this grand final. And the momentum, it seems to have shifted a little, little bit here, Molly. Uh, it was obviously that huge start from 
uh, cut rippy for the students. But the Demons, they're slowly getting themselves back into this game. Yeah, they are, aren't they? And you know what? I think Uni definitely came out hard. But with the Demons, you know, they're experienced enough. They're here in the final. They deserve to be here. So they know how to compete, to be competitive within this game. So maybe it's just taking them that little extra couple of minutes to be able to really assert themselves. But, you know, they're doing a good job. They're moving the ball around really well. And they're getting some great distance around the field as well. So hopefully we'll see them get some points on the board soon. So boundary throwing to take place in that right forward pocket. Battling for position. Students try to go for it. The Demons have got some numbers strong. Comes off the ground. Comes along the carpet. The students with a good clearing kick through the midfield. But the uncontested mark is taken there by the Demons in the 37 in Craig Maynard. Maynard will look for a big roost. He kicks down towards that right pocket. Needing for the uncontested mark for the Demons. And it is paid. So it'll go to the students though. So they'll work it now from down back. Kicks it down towards that half-back position. Tried to go for the contest. The number 20 there in Young. Young did well under some pressure now. Still trying to get involved. Has nice protection there from Willisy, who just tries to position himself well. You can see the Demons going in there for the attack. Good work over the top from the 53 in Leadham. And the Demons, they will stop any progression here. So the students need to clear it here. They lead by two goals. The Demons, you can see them really starting to build in momentum here. They come back through the middle. The students with a good clearing kick. That's threaded the needle beautifully. Swung back nicely for the Demons. Through the midfield, the students go. They give it back. It's sloppy play, but it goes to Jensen. And now he kicks it over and there's some open green pasture. And it's the 32 chasing after it is Garrity. Garrity kicks it inside forward 50. Chance here now for the students. Good one-on-one -on -one battle for the contest. Good kick off the soccer off the ground. Great work from the students under some pressure. Brilliant defence from the Ds. They try to come back. Now it comes from the students. Lurking, taking the line on. And the entire bench from the students. They rise as one. Brilliant stuff from the students. Oh, geez, they're really in control in this grand final so far, Molly Gray. They are, they are, they are aren't they? They're really lethal when you get them into space. And as soon as they move the ball like wide and then they position themselves in the right areas, they're able to just really execute their attacking play quite seamlessly. And the Demons just are really struggling to defend it. So, really, not the best goal you'll see in AFL, but a smart finish. And uh, they just set it up nicely. They didn't panic inside that forward 50 position. So now the play goes forward. The Ds, they try and battle it for the contest. Now they've got a bit of space inside that forward 50 position. Turn and burn for the Ds. The mark needed to be taken. Tried to get it back in field. Couldn't do it on that occasion. So the last goal scored there to the number 20 in Oliver Young. Really strong goal from him. And now the students, they will just kick it along the boundary line to that half-back position. O'Halloran will find his line down the boundary line. Good mark over the top taken by Walsh. Walsh will now settle things. He'll just take his time. He'll probably kick infield and does along centre wing. Comes back, but it's marked by the Ds. So Pennant Hill starting to build here. Now keep in mind, the last two times these sides have faced off against each other, the difference, the margin, it's been one goal. So we're looking like a close contest here. But at the moment, the students, they're well and truly on top, aren't they? 18 points to lead. Now it comes inside that forward 50 position. Good kick down towards centre half forward. Nicely marked inside the arc. Picked up off the carpet. Turn around. But it's missed everything and gone wide. So we saw plenty of noise for the Western Magic and Wollongong earlier in the day. And it seems to have continued, which is wonderful to see for both sides here today, Molly. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? It's really great that there is a crowd here and that everyone's really getting into it. The students, obviously, as always, are very loud and very into it. Great supporters. So it's good to see everyone down here. So just sitting in the bunch just to our right of our screen. Just in the main grandstand here at Blacktown, they're making plenty of noise and it looks as though 
the Demons. Their fan club is just to my left, so your left of screen. And wonderful to see the support for both sides on their biggest day in AFL. Plays along the line. The Ds try and work it through centre wing. Comes back for the students. They've got some strong numbers here. A 35 there in Donovan. They'll try and just play it through midfield. Picked up off the carpet. Donovan did particularly well. Just over the top there. Nicely worked for the students. Now Morrison just kicks it down towards that uh, centre-half forward position. Of course, Tommy Morrison, the coach of the students in the NEFL competition. Uh, he did particularly well this year. They... They had a stellar start to the year with seven um, successive wins, but then the wheels sort of fell off a little bit. Unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, they were eliminated from the NEFL competition by an inspired performance from the Canberra Demons, which they had played about two weeks prior and had beaten comfortably by 34 points. But unfortunately, they couldn't get the job done on that occasion. And now, of course... He takes the field for the students. So he's looking for a piece of silverware and a medal around the neck in 2018. But I'm sure the students at the Newfall level and really all their development levels will be firing on all cylinders because they just seem to have so much depth within the club over the last number of years. And they've been almost the benchmark of the competition in all the divisions as the Ds. They work it inside forward 50. They need something here. Some poor hands from the students allows the Ds to come in. And the Ds will try and just go to ground with it. Crowd not particularly fond of the call, but they are coming from the Sydney Uni direction. So you can understand the slight bias as the kick goes in field. Nicely worked from Donovan. Just plays it across the line. At that half-back position, he'll kick through the midfield. Tried to fly high. Great contested mark there by the students. They'll kick down centre wing, down towards centre half forward. Tapped over the top. Dees have got strong numbers. They try and work it just at half back. Brilliant defence over the top from the students. Play on is the call. They move it inside forward 50 through the 16 in Johnson. They kick down towards the goal. Picked up nicely by Walsh. He can't do anything with it. Now it comes from the Dees. They lose possession. Strong work here. Back the Ds come. Now they try and work it. Look at the numbers for the students. Building here nicely. Comes across to Young. Young looking for a second torp. He can't get possession. And the ball will come the way of the Demons. Who will play it just in that arc position. And now they'll try and kick it down that centre wing. So... Crowd really getting themselves involved in this one so far, Molly. Oh, absolutely. And why wouldn't they? There are some great hits out here and there's some really great play going on in attack and in defence as well. I just love the uni crowd. They're so into it. So the students moving it inside forward 50. Good kick over the top. Taken beautifully and uncontested mark from Simon Johnson. And now he has an opportunity to kick their fourth of the day. Within striking range, took it from about 30 out. Has a huge opportunity to kick their fourth afternoon. The roar from the crowd will tell you the story of this goal. Johnson moves in on its way. And it just goes wide, touched on the line. So a let off there for the Ds. But they've really got to start exerting some forward 50 pressure here, Molly, to get themselves back in this game. Yeah, they really do, don't they? I think the majority of the game has been in control of uni. And if the Demons want to get into this, they've got to get the ball in hand and they've got to get that momentum going. They need to get up their end and they've got to put some points on the board. Good kick down towards half back for the Demons. Nice, strong, uncontested mark taken there by De Gorda. De Gorda will kick over that far side. And now the Ds try and work it through the middle. Tap there nicely from the 58 in Gregor. Gregor now will move it through midfield. Tries to kick it from centre wing down towards full forward. There's a man down there for the Ds. But the ball will go out of bounds in Nathan Breen. So they're starting to exert some pressure, aren't they? But just not coming up with the options that you need inside that forward 50 to really create the scoring opportunities as uh, Garrity comes back on the field for the students, and it looks like Harry White will get a bit of a rest. 
So using their bench pretty well so far, the students. Tapped away nicely. The Ds try and pick it up off the carpet. The strong work there is done well. Picks up nicely through that forward 50 position. And they've kicked their first major of the afternoon. Sean O'Regan, in this case, has kicked it. So the Ds get themselves back into this contest. And, well, now the margin is 12, but so vital to kick that first major of the day, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, Jono. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't exactly the prettiest uh, goal I've ever seen, that's for sure. But points are points, and they need to stay in this game. You know, they couldn't let Uni get any further ahead than what they already are. So to get, you know, now they've got seven points on the board, they're in this game still. So 20 minutes gone in this first term. And as I mentioned, it was the students by 12, but the lead is starting to dwindle a little bit because the Ds have got some confidence. And the siren sounds at quarter time. Well, a great start from the students, but the Ds are building. So quarter time here at Blacktown, the students lead at 3-1-19 to Pennant Hills 1-1-7. We'll take a break. On the other side, all the action of the second term. And welcome back to Blacktown International Sports Park. Well, haven't we got a grand final on our hands here? The students, they really lifted in the early stanza of that first term and kicked three unanswered goals. Of course, uh, Josh cut Rippy having a day out, but uh, then the momentum shifted a little bit. And of course, uh, the Demons responded with their first goal and it went to Sean O'Regan. So that gives the students a 12 point margin going into this second term. John O'Farr and Molly Gray, your callers for today's grand final as the Ds try and work it over on that far side and it's nicely played at there by the 34 in Dave Smith. But the ball goes out of bounds, so they just run out of a little bit of room. It's a, a thrilling first 20 minutes or first term. Um, you know, what do the Demons need to do here, Molly, to get themselves back in this contest? I think they just need to get more involved. They need to get the ball in hand and they've just got to be more, I reckon, be more aggressive in their contact as well. Uni just seem like they have every aspect of the game covered where the Demons are definitely missing a few key elements of their game today. I just want to see them get involved. So the students have an opportunity over on the far side. And it's an unlikely angle, and geez, if you can kick it from here, this will really lift the spirits of not only their fans, but the players on the field as the students move in. Kick is on its way, looks pretty good. But unfortunately, it just goes through for the behind. So, shaving the post on the far side. So they kick their second behind of the day, and the margin goes to 13. So the Ds just try and swing it from fullback position. Nicely marked there, uncontested, taken by Nixon. And the man they call Frog now looking for an option. Kicks it down towards centre wing. Trying to look for some opportunities. Now they're on the fly. Great work over the top, but DeGorda was prevented from it going any further. Students, look at the numbers. They're pretty strong there on centre wing. They're coming over. The umpire will come in. And he'll give the ball away to the students. So it'll be Tom Morrison that has the opportunity now for them. Now he'll move it down towards that centre-half forward position. They try and juggle. And the man that flies through the pack is Gabe Robbie. Robbie kicks it down towards forward 50. Chance for the students. But they kick another one wide. And this time it was Ned Rort that goes wide. They had plenty of space inside that forward 50, Molly, but it just seems like the Demons' pressure just got the better of Rort on that occasion. Well, that's exactly what I was just about to say. The Demons did really well to hustle and put the pressure onto the students because that looked like it would have potentially been quite an easy goal for them. But, I mean, credit to them. Their defence is quite good today. So the Ds try and work it along centre wing, but the numbers for the students are strong. Good hand tap over the top. Now it comes back for them. O'Halloran will kick it inside forward 50. Beautifully picked up off the carpet. Swung around beautifully there by the seven in Sanders. And it's marked nicely by the students. So now they've got an opportunity to kick their fourth of the game. 
And it'll be the number six in Ned Rort. So rarely do you get second chances in grand finals. Missed his first attempt. Possibly fell victim to that pressure of the defence from the Demons. But now has a chance to redeem himself and get his name on that scorer's sheet under the major column. Moves in, strikes. Pretty easy stuff. The students come from everywhere. High fives all over. And they kick their fourth of the day. So the margin now going to 20 points. And we're about three and a half gone in this second term. So it seems like, Molly, that the students really have picked up where they left off in that early stages of the first term. Absolutely. And they're in no rush as well. You can see there after, the, after he got that mark, he really just wound down the clock then and just tried to slow the whole thing down because they are 20 points in front. They're in no rush to, you know, just keep getting back into the game straight away. So slowed it down, got another goal. They're, they're, you know, they're gaining momentum more than what they had in the first quarter as well. So tapped away by the students from the centre clearance. Look at the students working nicely down towards centre half forward. But the Ds have got some numbers. They kick it over to that far side, looking for an option. They might run out of room here. Just, only just, as Thomas Gerard moved in. And uh, now the boundary throw-in will take place. Plays it at the line. Nicely worked from the Demons. They've got some work to do. Smart work from the students. Morrison tries to clear it. Gives it along the boundary line to Nettle. And Jimmy Nettle will just run out of room, unfortunately, over on that outer wing. So the umpire comes in. Beautiful sunny conditions here in Blacktown. Hope you're enjoying grand final day 2018 in the Sydney AFL competition. Tapped away nicely. Students working, but the Ds, look at them work through the centre wing. Kicks it down towards that forward 50 position. Nicely picked up, but play on, unfortunately, isn't the call for the Ds because they were in position to kick possibly a major as the students. They just go laterally, plays it across the line, and it'll be Garrity that now kicks it down towards centre wing. Smartly worked from Young. Young has some space now. Looks for some support. Kicks it, uncontested mark, strongly taken there in the 24 in Willis. Willis, the smother is on for the Ds. Picked up now. They need some numbers. Taken over beautifully. De Lamar, look at him work towards forward 50. Kicks down towards the goal square. Needs a mark. Gets a mark. Brilliant stuff from Peter Carey. Take a bow. Oh, if he got any higher, he'd need council approval. And now... The opportunity needs to swing it left and then bring it back to the right. Carey moves in. D's looking for a goal. Oh, just keeps it too straight. And it goes through for a behind. So a wasted opportunity there for the Demons. They were in striking. But I think Carey might have been too impressed by that mark and lost his focus a little bit. But it is still early doors. So they kick their second behind of the game and now that margin goes to 19 points as the students try and work it over on that far wing nicely marked there some work to do for them what can they do here they'll just go laterally back in field it was juggled off the ground there by Rort Rort under some pressure D starting to come now they work it smartly through forward 50 there might be enough toe on this He's touched on the line cleverly. So they kick another behind the Ds. And now the students will just work it towards half back. Work nicely there. Picked up by Garrity. Now the Demons work it through the middle. Played at by Baglin. Now it's tapped away. They need some magic here. Nixon tries to go at the footy. He does, but he goes to ground. Oh, Frog's not happy about that. There's a bit of push and shove. Having some words to say to the umpires and the players. There's a decent one-on-one -on -one contest going between Garrity and one of the Demons players. It's And it nicely tapped away. But again, another wasted opportunity there from Carey. Really probably should have 
turned a bit and maybe tried to look for an option behind him, but he's uh, missed everything on that occasion. So, Molly, when the Pennant Hill side, they, when they get opportunities, they seem to be just rushing their opportunities, don't they? Yeah, and it might just be the pressure of it being a grand final, but that's where you need to have pre prepared prior to coming into this game where you don't crumble under the pressure and under the stress of wanting to get points on the board. They've already got nine points on the board. They're not trailing that far behind. They've just got to think smart and play smart if they want to be able to try and big hit there. Yeah, huge hit there on the 46 and Irwin. It's nicely come at by Doyle. Now the Ds, they try and work it in field. Goes through Allison. Allison kicks it over on the far side. Chances for them. They come at the line, but it's worked over the top there by the 33 in Gibbons. And Gibbons just plays it at the line. They come back, the Ds. The Ds tap it over. Gibbons now gets possession. Kicks it into some open field there over on that outer wing, and the ball will go out of bounds. So 139, Pennant Hills Trail, Sydney Uni 4-3, 27. We're about midway through this second term or the first half. There's normally a decent breeze here at Blacktown. There's a slight one around, but it's not really playing much of a role in the grand final here today. A couple of weeks ago, could have blown a dog off a chain. It was that hard as it comes back nicely through the middle. Back towards the Ds, and they move it nicely through the middle through Smith. He'll kick it inside forward 50. Comes back along the line. They play it there. The students. They comes back beautifully through the 19 in Doyle. Doyle will swing it through forward 50. Over the top. Played out by the students. Numbers are strong. Smith gets the ball back. D's at half back. They need to work it hard. They get it across the line and give it away to Maynard. Maynard kicks it over on the far side. The students work it. Greatly work from Walsh. Walsh plays it towards the... Centre half forward position. Now it's picked up by the Ds. They've got some work to do in defence. They've got to clear this ball. Students building. Comes back through the middle. Now it's tapped nicely through Nettle. Nettle will kick over the top. And now the Ds. They try and work in defence. Ds try to kick it along the boundary line from that half back position. Down towards centre wing. Just out of the reach there of Gerard, And it'll go out of bounds over on that far side. So Melbourne... He's certainly being tested in defence here, aren't they, Molly? Yeah, absolutely. But you know what? I mean, defence is what's really going to help them throughout this game as well. So, I mean, just keep testing, keep working. And then when they get the ball, they get into attack as well, as long as they just keep pushing forward. So the Ds, they work it inside that forward 50 position. And the students take a great mark through Young. Oliver Young diving high there for that one. And now they've got an opportunity. So he kicked a goal earlier in the game. Looking for his second of the day. Still three more games to come on grand final day. So big day still to come as Young moves in for this opportunity. But kicks it wide, unfortunately. And it goes through for just that behind. So the Ds will try and clear it off their goal square. Got plenty of numbers in that half back position but they seem a little bit bunched up to be honest as the D's now try and work it they just spread out a little bit I would say to get themselves some clearances and just throw off the students attack as Molly mentioned earlier in the coverage they've spread it out nicely now they look a little bit better on the fly but the numbers aren't good and the students now they will respond with a free kick it'll go to Liam Donovan will kick inside that centre-half forward position, centre wing, comes back in through the middle. The Ds, they clear it now along centre wing, but it goes uncontested. And now the students, they'll try and look for something. Puts the ball inbound. Nicely played at there by the 24 there in Willis. Willis will kick towards forward 50. They fly high, the students. Goes over the top. Huge chance here for Walsh. Walsh will dribble it through. And he'll kick a goal. So John Walsh puts his name on the score sheet. And the students, they kick another goal for this game. 12 gone. 
Again, that forward 50 pressure from the students, really the difference maker in this grand final so far, Molly. Yeah, it is, isn't it? But they also don't seem to be rushing it either. They're in no, uh, you know, they're in no rush. Like the pressure is on. The Demons are definitely putting them under, like, uh, under quite a bit of pressure. But they're just, they're not panicking and they're just staying calm, staying collected and just getting the job done, which is why they're sitting so far ahead now. So we go back to that centre bounce position. So the difference really starting to get away from them now. Comes over the top for the D's. Good clearance from that centre square. Goes over towards centre half forward. Oh, beautifully picked up there by the number six in Baglin. Baglin gives it in field. Now they're looking pretty and looking smart, but it's a higher kick down towards the back, and it'll be the three in Greenwood for the students that kicks it across field. Nicely worked over by the 25 in power. Power kicks it down towards half back. Picked up eventually off the ground by the 26 in Pollock. Pollock swings it through the midfield, down towards centre wing. Chance here for the students, but the ball will trickle over the boundary line just in front of the broadcast position. And uh, well, that'll be a boundary throw in. So players jostling for position. Tapped away by the D's, nicely marked. Picked up off the contest, cleared nicely by Stokey. Stokey kicks it down towards forward 50. Young's trying to get it. Now he works it beautifully. Comes back along the line. The 16 and Johnson kicks it over on that far side. And now the students, they will respond here. So now the students have this opportunity. The mark was taken over in that right pocket. Just inside the arc. Kick is on its way. But unfortunately, the luck seems to have run out for Cut Rippy. Kick two in the first term. His third attempt goes wide. So students kick another behind. Their fifth of the day. Pushes the margin. Just out a little bit. D's starting to work out the students a little bit here now, putting them under enormous pressure in this grand final. But they need to get some majors on the board. This is better play from them. Down centre wing. Nicely worked. Handball beautifully was smart. But it goes away to Nixon. And Frog gets absolutely smashed by the Sydney Uni defence. Good collision there, Molly. Oh, that was amazing. That was one of those ones where you've just got your eye on the ball and all of a sudden these two defenders come out of nowhere and they just nail you. So interesting play there from the students. They're really using the field here. Goes across there to Greenwood. Greenwood kicks it over on that far side and now the students try and work it. Nicely juggled close to the boundary line, but the 35 there and Donovan will run out of room. Didn't realise that Simon Johnson was just behind him in trail. And it'll go out of bounds, but probably not a bad result considering for the Demons. So players jostling for that vital position to get the Sharon in the hand. Tapped away beautifully through midfield, down towards that centre-half forward. Great mark taken by Regan. And Regan now, what can he do? Kick to goal. That got the D started here today. Kicks it to the 32 there in Russell. Russell now looks for something through midfield. Kicks it to centre half forward. Smartly worked from the D's. And it's the 29 there in Ben Miles that has this opportunity. Look to him point to the post. He's going for the big torp here. This kid has got confidence in abundance. Can he be like Isaac Smith in the grand final for the Hawks a few years ago? No, it just goes short. Smart footy from the D's. Thought he was really going to go for the big torp when he pointed at the big sticks. Oh. It looked like he was, wasn't it? But it was still really smart of him to be able to look out there and just to sort of chip it over the top to one of his teammates. And hopefully this one looks like it's set it getting set up for him to try and get the six. So Fraser Nixon, listen to the crowd. They're really starting to jeer Frog. Moves in, kickers on its way. But again, Frog sprays it wide. It's touched on the line as it went over four. Oh, that is superb work. The number 12 in Charlie Allison. He didn't give up on the play and he kicks a major. A minor from Frog 
turns into a major for Allison. Superb stuff from the D's, and they've got themselves back in this grand final. Oh, I love that they didn't panic there and they didn't seem to drop their heads too quickly and they just managed to regather and get some more points on the board. It's what they needed. So now they're only trailing by 20 points. So close to that halftime break, but if they can get one just before that siren, they'll give themselves an enormous chance in these final two terms. Crowd really swelling out here at Blacktown, which is wonderful to see in uh, relatively warm conditions here in Blacktown. Still plenty of grand finals to come across the day. The last one starts at 6.30. So if you're looking for something to do on a Sunday, why not head out and join us here at Blacktown? Dees try and work it. But they're in defence at the moment over on that far side. Smartly worked from the 30 in Woodward. He'll just bring it back towards the middle. Just couldn't be taken there by the students. They work it nicely through the 24 in Willis. Now it's worked back. Students under some pressure here. They're on the back foot a little bit. The D's have lifted since that goal. Now it's tapped away. Nicely cleared there from the 29 in miles. Kicks it just over towards that center wing position. They now try and bring it through the midfield. The 32 in Russell says kick it down towards center half forward. And that's what they do. Now picked up off the carpet. Tried to work by the D's. Can't quite get it. The two on one contest beats them. And the D's... Pretty good finish in the end, really, because the two-on-one attack from the students, especially from Willisie, put the uh, six in Bagland under some pressure there. And they've done well to uh, result in a boundary throw-in. So in the shadows of half-time here at Blacktown in this grand final, superb game of footy. The margin's 20 points, but... Molly, it just feels like it's a lot closer than that, doesn't it? It does. There's a lot going on out there. and It does. It switches back and forth between the two teams of who's dominating and who's not, which is what you want to see in a grand final. Well, that's the halftime siren in the background. So the Ds, they started to lift a little bit. The students still in control, but we're in for a thrilling second half and certainly a third quarter. They call it the premiership quarter. Will it decide this game? We'll take a break find out on the other side. The students at the moment lead by 20 points. And welcome back to Blacktown International Sports Park. We've got a thrilling second half coming up for you here between the students and the Demons. It's the students by 20 points, but the Ds are really working themselves nicely into this contest. And look at the way the students move it through the midfield. Nice uncontested mark there taken by Young inside forward 50. And he'll now have a chance to get the third term off to the best start. In the last game, the Western Magic, they really zipped away from Wollongong and it just changed the game. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here in this game as the students just tap it wide and it goes through for a minor score. So... They kick another behind for the day. And Molly, in the last game we saw between the Magic and the Saints, it was the third term that was really the difference maker, wasn't it? It was. That's where the, uh, that's where the Magic's really started to, um, you know, take over that entire game. And they started to just get more and more points straight through the middle of the sticks. So they were really taking over. So hopefully that's what we can see here today as well. I think this is where we'll see one of the teams really start to dominate. So a bit of back and forth footy at the moment. It's the Ds that have it. Good uncontested mark taken there by De Gorda. De Gorda will work it through the middle and give it in field. And swung around beautifully to the number 30 there in Woodward. He'll kick it beautifully towards that forward 50 position, almost taking a specky. Now it's tapped away by the students. They've got pressure here. Chance here for the Ds. And yes, the fist bumping continues. Allison, he kicks the goal, but there is a very ugly incident going on. The students are involved. I've got a feeling it was the 26 there in Pollock that was involved. Molly, you got a better gauge of that. Uh, was it frustration? Where did it start from? 
I don't even know, to be honest. I think it's just, it's one of those things. It's grand final day and emotions are running high. And, you know, there's there's bound to be a few egos out there as well. So you get a little bit frustrated, you get no push and shove and things can escalate sometimes, but hopefully they sort it out. Well, it's all cleared now. There's a little bit of a uh, discussion going on at that full forward position. But anyway, it seems to have cleared at the moment as Garrity gives the ball across field for the students. And now they try and work it from that centre position. Walsh now swings it down towards centre half forward. Students can't quite get that contest, but it's clever work there from Irwin to clear it for the Ds. But now the students, as you can see, have got possession. Goes in field. Oh, that's brilliant stuff. Can he kick it? No, unfortunately. Just sprays it wide. Oh, geez, Josh can't rip it. He's kicked two majors and now two minors. He was put under a little bit of pressure there by the Demons, and there was one of his players standing right next to him who had no defenders on him. So maybe it would have been a smarter move just to, like, you know, not try and take it yourself and just offhand the ball to another player and who looked like they were in a better position. But a point's a point, so uni are ahead still. These work it nicely, and that's beautifully marked again. This time to Allison. Well, he seems to be the difference maker for the D's here today. Looking for their fourth goal of the day. And now into the afternoon. So Allison moves in. Good looking kick. It's got height, it's got length. But unfortunately, it hasn't got accuracy and it goes wide. So they kick another behind. So it's really costing them a little bit now, their chances, their shots on goal. Allison certainly the difference maker for the Ds as the students go inbound from the goal square. Nicely marked by Willis. Willis now looks for an option. And the songs have started on the hill for the students. Might be able to hear that in the background. Comes back nicely to De La Mar. Kicks it over the top, but beautifully marked by the students that prevented them. So they don't rush it through for a behind, which is interesting. Goes through for the 26 in Pollock. Kicks it along centre wing, and now it's Morrison that has a chance. And Morrison will kick along the boundary line. Find a chance now for some options. Kick it inbound, the students now on the arc. Looking for something here. They go short and long to Willis. Now Willis has a decent roost on that one. Goes forward to that forward 50 position. Nicely tapped away there by Nettle. Nettle does his best, but the Ds, now they get the ball clear. And now they're just working it nicely. A towering bomb down towards center wing. They fly high, can't be taken there by Irwin. Now it comes back for the 24 in Willis. Willis kicks, but a good mark taken for the Ds, just at half back position. So they'll now try and look for something. It'll be Woodward under some pressure. One on one contest. And the students cut Rippy, kicks inside forward 50, but it's marked by the Ds. So a wasted opportunity there from cut Rippy, maybe losing a bit of confidence. Goes towards. The three there in Nixon and Frog kicks it inside forward 50. Down towards the midfield. Picked up nicely by the seven there in Saunders. He kicks it over towards that forward 50 inside the arc. Tapped away by the students. The numbers need to come here. But they don't quite for the students. And it'll come to the four in Gerard. And the umpire will come in and ball up after the Sharon hits the turf. So 37-22, the margin 15 points in favour of the students. But the D certainly, they uh, look as though they're starting to just lift a little bit. So they'll work out what they're doing here and set their attack pattern accordingly. Has an opportunity to kick to the 34 and Smith, but he'll go over on the outer wing. And now they kick from that half-back position along centre wing. Just goes past Nixon. Nixon gives the ball away to Baglin. Baglin swings it down towards forward 50. Tapped away nicely. 
Chance here for the Demons. They'll try and pick it up off the carpet, but the numbers are stronger for the students. Gives it away to Morrison. Can't quite handle it. Great stuff over the top there from Danilo. Danilo gives it back. The students try to clear it. Under enormous amounts of pressure, Danilo will watch his man go to boundary. Can have a bit of a push in the back there to Jack Hollywood. He was lucky to get away with that, Danilo. But there's certainly some... Uh, Tempers flaring out there, Molly, between these two sides. Yeah, there really is. And you can see the pressure, though, being applied from both teams as well. The Demons really put Uni under a lot of pressure then, and they were just having to, you know, just shift the ball between each other. But in a lot of... Uh, oh. Missed opportunities you were talking there to Gerard. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many missed opportunities out there today, and I think that might come from frustration and also trying to rush a lot as well. So great pressure there. Oh, geez, there's a big bump and shove from Nathan Breen. Well, this could get ugly. He wants the foot in his hand, and he's got it too. Well, having the D's lifted a little bit here. Kicks it down towards that centre-half forward position. And now Nixon kicks it over the top. Oh, it goes down towards the D's. They can't quite control it. Students trying to battle for the ball. Now they give it on that far side. Ugly play at the moment, but they soccer it along the students. Saunders does his best. Now he wins that one-on-one -on -one contest. Moves it through midfield. Kicks over the top. Good take there. Played away nicely by the students. They try and bring it back through the middle. Nicely tapped over the top there from uh, Four and Gerard. Gerard will give it away. Students get the footy back. Kick it over towards the center wing position. Bounces, needs to be better. Comes back for the students. Goes to White. Gives it along nicely to Morrison. Morrison giving a big shove there from the 32 in Russell. And there is plenty of tension in this one. So the students will have a chance here through the number six in Rort. Rort kicks it across the top. Marked away, couldn't be taken there. And the D's will just tap it in a bounds. So they've called deliberate with that. The 26 basically just tapping it in the bounds. Smith. So the students now. Banana kick. Goes wide. So unlucky. Just didn't have enough. Bend on it. Obviously hasn't, hasn't seen bend it like Beckham enough. And the ball goes across the face of goal. So, chance goes begging there. But, geez, there's some fire and brimstone in this grand final, Molly. Oh, it's great, isn't it? You know, that you can see that like, we know that the Demons are a little bit far behind at the moment. And they're applying a lot of pressure to Uni. And they're being really aggressive and forceful as well, which is where we're starting to see Uni make some mistakes now. They're making a lot more mistakes than what they were in the first two quarters. So the D's now through Woodward will swing it down towards forward 50. Thought he had a much toe on that, but he doesn't. And now it'll be Gibbons who clears it. Tapped away nicely. Tries to bring it back through the middle. The students under some pressure here. They kick it laterally over the top. But geez, the D's have got them pegged here inside this fullback position. 15 points the margin in favour of the students towards Young, but the intercept is taken by his opposing number. Tapped by De Lamar, comes across the line, swung back beautifully. Chance here for the Ds. Now it comes to Morrison for the students. And the pressure getting to the students a little bit. And the Ds now have an opportunity to kick a major here at a crucial time. 11 minutes gone in this... Uh, third term and now the D's will have an option through Woodward so difficult angle but geez if he can kick this for their fourth of the afternoon it'll really lift them on that boundary line needs to bend it back kick is on its way keeps it straight kicks a goal a crucial goal at a vital time for the D's Oh, they're back within nine, Molly. What a shift. 
Yeah, there has been. It's a massive shift. And this is what we said. We said before that the third quarter was one of the most important ones here. And the Demons have done a really good job to not let Uni get too far ahead of them. So they're still in this game with a couple of minutes to go left in the third quarter. And they've still got the fourth one to go. So they call the third term the Premiership quarter. Does it belong to Pennant Hills or will the students do enough to hold their lead? At the moment, it would suggest that the Demons might get themselves level pegged here, which will give us an exciting final term. Keep in mind the last two times these sides have met, the difference, the margin, it's been one goal, six points. And of course, Pennant Hills were here last year in a thrilling grand final that went down to the wire. And they won it in the final stages. Can they go back to back? As the D's now work it, under some pressure, the students work it nicely. Swung through the midfield. Look at them work it beautifully through Morrison. He kicks it towards forward 50 position. But it's nicely taken at the back by the D's. And they will control it nicely through Smith. He kicks it over on that far side. Taken beautifully there by the 29 in Miles. Miles now there in the ghost pocket. Just kicks it at half back. Picked up on the bounce one by Hodges. Hodges now works it. Good pressure from the students. They come. They want to exert some pressure here. Kicks it down towards forward 50. The chance is strong, but the numbers are better for the Ds. One on three, but the Ds win that contest. Comes away for the students. They can't quite get it. And the umpire will come in. And he'll give the free kick to the students. So it'll go the way of Sean Stoke. And Stoke has a chance now to kick their sixth of the day. And possibly just put the foot a little bit harder on the accelerator, and he does so. So he kicks their sixth, and now the margin goes back to that 15 points. Jeez, it's a really interesting shift in this grand final. Sydney Uni, first half, they look much better side. But you could see the Ds lifting and they seem to have really come at them in this third term, Molly. Yeah, in the first two quarters, you could really tell that Sydney Uni was definitely the more classier team, I guess you could say. But I think the Demons have really fought back. But that's what you want to see. We're in a grand final. You want to see them put their best foot forward. And you want to see them fight all the way until the end. And I think that's what they're doing. They're a really aggressive side and they're showing us that today as well. So... The Ds, they just try and clear it. Nicely worked there from Rort. Can't quite get it away, but the Ds, they're starting to lift now. Nice clear down towards centre half forward. The tap over the top needs to be kind to the Demons, and it is. But uh, De Gorda wrapped up. He kicks it inside that forward 50 position. Tapped away. And it goes out of bounds. So unfortunately, Carey can't quite clear it up. And it goes over in that left pocket. Wonderful conditions here in Blacktown. Perfect for footy. Minimal breeze around, which would be really helping things. And the track, it was pretty greasy earlier in the day, but it would have certainly dried out now, which would make a fast track and some pretty highly entertaining footy, hopefully, as the Ds work it nicely. Strong stuff over the top there for the Ds. They're working it nicely through Danilo. But it'll go to ground and... The umpire will come in and say, we'll have a ball up, gents. So it's tapped across. Danilo just gets it back, but unfortunately to nobody. Danilo regathers, regathers his own hand pass, gives the ball in field. Students working it nicely through centre wing. Pressure is huge there. Interesting to see which way this goes. Gerard was calling for holding, and he's got it. So holding the ball, the rule on that occasion... Gerard now kicks inside forward 50. Can they get back within nine? Tries to come at the line. Goes along the carpet. D's working hard. Cleared nicely by the students. They've got some work to do over on that far side, but they'll clear it nicely along centre wing. Tap there. Ball comes back. Couldn't quite get it off the carpet. Now it's picked up by the 16 in Johnson. Johnson will look for somebody. Tries to find it through the midfield. Goes over the top. Now it's marked by O'Halloran. O'Halloran will kick it along centre wing. Chance here for the students. They move it through Walsh. Walsh in some space. Good hand pass across to Young. Can't quite clear it up. Now Young has another crack at it. O'Halloran working hard there in attack. Walsh comes at the line. Nicely tapped through the midfield. 
goes back. They call it down nicely through Greenwood. Greenwood kicks it over on that far side. Comes back the students. They kick it inside forward 50. Stoke tries to get it for the students. Back to Walsh. Walsh will hold it from 47. Low, long, but not strong enough. And it goes wide. So they kick another behind. Jeez, it's been an entertaining quarter. Molly, how have you seen the action in the third term? Oh, I think this has been really great. You know, it's very back and forth, and one team's dominating and then the other team is, which is what you want to see. It's a very good, very strong quarter, this one. And, you know, we're closing in now on the final minutes. But, uh, you know, uni are impressive, but really it's the demons for me today that I've just I've really enjoyed their hustle throughout the game. So they move it nicely through Pollock. Kicks it down towards half back. Nicely worked. And a bit of grace there from Ned Rort. He, he could have put the boot into the Demons player, but he kindly stepped over him. So boundary throw in to take place. Tapped away nicely. Tried to be cleared there by Doyle. Gives the wall away. Now the D's try to get it under some pressure. Good work from Russell who clears it. Now it comes back. Nicely worked through O'Halloran. O'Halloran will give it to Stoke, but Stoke will kick wide. And it goes through for a minor score. So now the margin, 17 points in the shadows of three-quarter time. And you'd think, Molly, that 17 points would be enough, but I've just got a feeling from what I've seen in past games from Pennant Hills, they're going to really lift in this final term. Yeah, I think they are as well. I don't think that the score margin is going to scare them into this fourth quarter. I really think that these these guys are the type of team who are going to be able to lift into that fourth one, and they're not going to stop until the final whistle. So, I mean, we're definitely going to be in for quite a treat for the last quarter. So the D's work it along centre wing, just over on that far side. Comes at the line nicely is the 30 in Woodward. He's played well today for the D's. Bennett Hills, of course, looking for back-to-back -back premierships. Under some pressure, the one-on-one -on -one contact was good. The contest worked in the favour of the Ds. Now they move it along the midfield and now centre wing. It'll bring it back through the middle there, through the 46 in Irwin. Irwin will kick inside the arc, but it's just taken just outside through De Gorda. De Gorda now. He launches for a roost. High towering bomb down towards forward 50. Chance and the mark is taken by the number three in Nixon. And Frog has a chance to put his name on the score sheet as the siren sounds for three-quarter time. Well, what a difference maker this will be. If he can kick this, it'll put the margin to 11 going into the final term. So it's come at a crucial time for the Demons. Can Frog put it through the big sticks? Took the mark from about 28 out, but it's a difficult angle. On its way... Looks good, looks great. The margin is 11. What a final term coming up. Have Pennant Hills got what it takes to go back to back? Or will the students finally break their drought and be a bridesmaid no more? Three quarter time here at Blacktown. The students lead by 11, 6 10 46 to Pennant Hills, 5 5 35. A break, but stay with us. We've got a great final term coming up. Well, welcome back to Blacktown International Sports Park. And what a three quarters it's been. And we've got the final term to come. This is the grand final in the AFL Sydney competition of Sydney Uni and Pennant Hills. Can Pennant Hills go back to back or will the students finally break the drought? We'll find out in about 20 minutes or so's time as the students work it. They lead by 11 going into this final term, but the Ds are coming. And it was a really good goal through Fraser Nixon right on the stroke of three-quarter time that's brought this game very much alive. Going into this final term, Molly Gray, what's the mindset of the players? I mean, the Ds, they've really been lifting, haven't they? They have, they have. I think it's really important now, though, that they just stick to their game plan and they don't try and get too excited too soon. You find that when in a grand final, especially when people start to do that, then they start to really just... Think about the result as opposed to the process. That's where they'll start to make mistakes. So hopefully, I mean, for both for both sides' sake, that they just focus on what they're doing at the time while they're doing it, and then we'll just see who wins at the end. It's going to be an exciting quarter. 
So battle for the contest is fiery, but it's the Ds that work it nicely out through the line. They move it down towards centre wing and centre half forward. Nicely worked from De Gorda. Kicks it in that right pocket. And it's nicely worked there from the 22 in Peter Carey, who's been strong today for the Ds, looking for a goal here. And this will really make things interesting. Moves from about 47. The kick is on its way, but it won't get there. It's tapped through. It was marked there close to the line by Nixon. But the mark hasn't been paid, and it'll go back to the students to try and clear it from their goal square. So that really would have been a difference maker if they could have kicked that one because it would have brought the margin back to five. But the Ds have got a chance here. Strong numbers. Nicely marked. Oh, that's a good-looking kick. What about that? Danilo turns it on for the Ds, and they're back within five. Oh, this is a final term to remember here, Molly Gray. How good is that? Uni were trying so hard to get it out of their forward, but then the Demons just got it and got it straight in. I thought that was amazing. Good on them. I mean, they're still in this game, and who knows what's going to happen. Well, the chants are continuing from the students, but the Demons fans, they're making just as much noise, so... Well, this is going to be an interesting final term. We're only two and a half gone. About 18 or 19, I'd reckon, to play. Still plenty of time for both sides, really. But the Ds really have the momentum in their favour as the students just trying to work it through that midfield, but the umpire will come in and ball up. So relatively warm conditions in Sydney, which is a nice change after a couple of days of rain, and we hope that that rain has certainly reached a lot of the rural areas which are heavily affected by drought. Goes over to Morrison for the students. Students work it along the centre wing. And it's tapped away there by Young, but Smith tried to get it for the Ds. Works it back in nicely. Keep the ball alive and the students play it back through the line. Morrison will just highly tap it through, but the penalty will come. It's gone out of bounds, so... It'll be a free kick here for the Demons. Just at half-back position. They'll probably move it along centre wing, you would think. They've got Smith in front there. An option they could take, but Smith says go further. So they go longer down the line. Now it comes back nicely there to, to Gorda. De Gorda works it across the line. Tapped over the top there, but it'll eventually grow to ground. So the margin, five points. So if the Ds kick another major they will take the lead for the first time in a long time as now the 55 in Danilo moves it through midfield students try to go for the contest but they slow it up here and they'll probably be doing this you'd think considering that margin is just five points they'll be trying to get as many ball up contests going their way looks like a Sydney Uni player down on the ground from first guess, it looks as though it's Garrity, but uh, we'll just double check that. So he's getting some treatment at the moment. So the Ds now will have the footy in their hands. Move it down towards forward 50. It's tapped over the top. Free kick goes the way of Nixon. Nixon from just outside the arc. A clever kick towards forward 50. They go high. The Ds come back, nicely tapped over the top. But it just goes through for a behind. So the margin to four, Woodward was the scorer on that occasion for the Ds. And now the students will work it along the line. Now they'll look for something through Willisey. Willisey now will kick from that fullback position down towards Young, who positions himself beautifully and takes the uncontested mark. Swings it from half back down towards Walsh. Walsh juggles with it, comes at it. Smith tries to get it for the Ds. Now it comes back nicely there to the 24 in Willis. Willis goes forward. Now it comes back away to Robbie. Robbie kicks it down towards centre half forward. Chances on. Battle for the contest. Walsh did well. Comes back. Garrity comes through the middle. Over the top it comes, and the Ds try and spread it there through to Gorda. De Gorda swings it through the midfield. Opportunity for space here, but it's a great mark. 
Oh, geez, he had Velcro in his hands, Jack Hollywood. Kicks it over on that far side. Students under some pressure. Now it comes back for the Ds. Need to soccer it off the ground. Can't do it. Comes back to the line. The 35 in Donovan will kick it over on that far side. And the students sling it back along the midfield. Bring it back from centre wing to midfield. Gives it back to Nettle. Nettle kicks it in just a moment. He'll move it towards that centre half position. Walsh is the man flying high. Comes through nicely back. Stoke will try and get it possession for the students. Comes through for the line, but the ball will go to ground. But, geez, the intensity really starting to lift. There's about 14 or 15 to go before full time. The D's within four, Molly, but things are starting to shift in this game, aren't they? Yeah, you can really see in this half that uni seem to have gotten a little bit quiet, I think. Or either that, or I think the Demons are just really putting the pressure on them this time. But regardless, I mean, there's been a massive shift in this half. So the ball has gone to the Ds for a free kick over on that far side. They'll kick it along centre wing. Nicely tapped away by the students. They'll bring it through the middle. And they'll kick it down towards centre half forward where it was tapped there by Cut Rippy. So the margin, four points. About 13 minutes to go before full time in this grand final. What a finish coming up here. Can the students hold on and finally break the drought? Morrison holds the footy. Gives it to O'Halloran. O'Halloran down towards the line. Nicely played out there by 33 and Gibbons. Gibbons brings it back towards centre half forward. D's on the prowl. Smith gets the footy. Brilliantly worked there from Irwin. Big hit. Students get the footy. Kick it down towards centre half forward. This might be the difference maker. Garrick tried to get it. Couldn't get it. Gets it off the carpet. Now they come back. Walsh tries to come in it. Nicely cleared by the D's. Beautiful stuff from Maynard. He'll kick it over towards the midfield area. Juggle is on. Students get the football. Free kick goes to Woodward. He gives it back to Danilo. Danilo now. The big man puts a big kick through the midfield. Tapped away. The D's needing something here. Students get possession. Kick it down towards their centre half forward. Just on the arc, but it comes back nicely. They swing it through the midfield, the Ds. They need something special here to get themselves back in this game and regain the lead. Goes across, juggling Mark, taken nicely by Miles. Miles lifts from centre wing, kicks it down towards centre half forward, tapped over the top, couldn't be taken by Smith. Beautifully controlled there by the 53 and Leadham. Leadham will kick it inside forward 50. And the difference maker is the 15 in Jack Hollywood. Hollywood kicks it over to that far side, goes over towards the... Right pocket, picked up off the carpet nicely by Donovan. Well, they're calling for a deliberate, and they've got it. Danilo turns around. He won't kick it from there, but he'll come close. Beautifully picked up off the carpet. That's unbelievable. Sean O'Regan has turned this grand final on its head, and the Ds, they lead by two. Oh, wow. I didn't even know where the Demons have come from in this second quarter. but that, they're, Sorry, in this fourth quarter. But they've really showed up and they're just showing Uni what they are made of. This is an incredible turnaround from the Demons. Well, the pressure of grand final day. It can get to team Sydney Uni. They led by 20 points at one stage. And now for the first time in a long time, the Ds lead it. Just brilliant positioning there from O'Regan. That's twice that he's done that. And it's both resulted in a major score. And the possession will go the way of the Ds. So they'll have it from the clearing kick position. They go from the centre bounce. Tapped away, Danilo. Oh, body on the line stuff. Having the D's lifted in this final term. And now Evan Danilo, the number 55 for the Pennant Hills Demons, has this chance from about 40 out, but right in front of the sticks. Huge chance here, Molly. 
Yeah, and you could see there that Fraser Nixon, just when they caught the mark, that he was sort of telling everyone to settle down, to take their time as well. Unfortunately, though, for them, another a little bit of a wasted opportunity there, but hopefully they can come back from that. We'll see what Uni can do, though. It feels like every time Uni get the ball in their hand at the moment, they just keep stuffing up. And it's really giving, you know, Pettit Hills a great opportunity to just execute some really great attack. Students swinging along centre wing. Over the top they come. Played out by the D's. They swing it back nicely from half back. Try to work it along the line. Gives the ball across field. They're moving it laterally, but there's under some pressure here. Atherson kicks it across the field. Goes over the top. Nicely marked. That's a strong contested mark for the D's. Now they'll come along the line. Good mark over the top there from Miles. Miles will set sail. He's at half-back position here. Two points the margin. About nine or ten to go in this grand final. Still on the line for anyone. Brings it along centre wing. Nixon tries to go at it, but it's a brilliant mark from O'Regan. And O'Regan now has a chance to put the Ds up further front. Goes towards centre half forward. Tap nicely, juggling act. Students get it. Smother is on. Now it comes back. Nicely worked there from Breen. Breen kicks it inside forward 50. Can the Ds get it? No, they can't. And they go to ground and Danilo. The man this time overrun and outbeaten by the 15 in Jack Hollywood. Whew. What a finish to this grand final coming up. Boundary throw in to take place. Adjacent to the post. Comes in. If the Ds get it, something magical could happen. But the ball will go the way of the students. Goes across. Tapped away there to the 32. And Gerrity. Gerrity just goes over. The students, they're under some pressure here. The Ds, the numbers are strong. They just need a fumble. Now Smith gets it for them. Dees work it through that centre-half forward position. Bounce needs to be fortuitous, but brilliantly read by the students. And up the train tracks they go. Chip over the top. Picked up nicely. Good hands there from the 24 in Willis. Willis under some pressure. Great tackle from the Dees. And they go to ground. So the free kick goes the way of Pennant Hills. Middle of the track. And an opportunity for them to get some further real estate up. About six and a half minutes to go in this grand final. D's lead by two. Now it comes away to Danilo. Danilo, impossible angle. Over the top it comes. Picked up magnificently. Oh, that is superb from Pennant Hills. Absolutely brilliant from them. And, geez, that's clever. Oh, I reckon if Danilo had kicked that, a hundred more times, it might have resulted in a hundred different solutions. But O'Regan has got the bounce out of heaven in the goal square. And the Ds, they now build on that lead. Oh, it's just the right place at the right time, isn't it? And that's happened to them a couple of times now. And they're just, oh, this is just amazing to watch. I just think it's incredible with the way that the whole game has shifted now in the favour of the Demons. And you can see Uni... They're actually starting to drop off a bit now. And that aggression that the Demons brought onto the, uh, into the second quarter has just really lifted. And this is where it all counts now in the fourth quarter. Uh, Regan kicks three for the game. Can he be the hero for the Demons? Looking for back-to-back -back titles in the Division One. Last year, it was a thriller here at Blacktown. Again, it's delivered the last time these sides met, it was six points, the difference. At the moment, it is eight points in favour of the Demons. 15 gone. About five or six to play before full time. Morrison now tries to get the ball away to O'Halloran and does so. And now O'Halloran has some space and kicks it down towards centre half forward. Tap over the top, but Smith takes the mark at half back for the Ds. Now has a chance. Kicks it over on the outer wing to centre wing. Nicely positioned. Good work there from the 31 in White. White will kick it in field. Good work from the students. They kick it over towards the arc, just in that right pocket. Chance here for the students. What have they got? Ball comes loose. Dees try to get it. Students have it. Comes off the carpet. Numbers are strong. The two-on-one favours them. O'Halloran puts a high kick over the top. Tapped away by the students. Nicely worked. 
Stoke tried to clear it. Tapped over there by O'Regan. Now it comes away for the Ds. Comes back towards the line. The 34 and Smith goes to ground. And the umpire on the arc will ball it up with 16 played in this final term in the grand final for 2018. Can Pennant Hills do enough to go back to back? They lead it by eight points in this grand final. And again, it goes to ground. Are the students still in it, Molly? That's the question. I want to say that they are, but I honestly think that the Demons are just... They've really found their own in this game, in this quarter, and I just think that they're probably going to take it all the way to the end. Uni look like they've dropped, whereas the Demons are the absolute opposite. So the students now will try and work it from that centre wing position. Good torp down towards centre half forward. They tap it forward, but they can't get any validity there. And unfortunately, the ball goes out of bounds. So getting closer to that final siren. Who can hold on the longest? Will the Ds hold on to this eight-point lead? Or will Sydney Uni get themselves back in this contest? They just need a goal to make it interesting. Morrison kicks it. Nice mark, but can't be taken close to centre-half forward. Saunders is pleading with the umpire. But it's gone the way of the Ds. So all the possession and the luck going the way of Pennant Hills at the moment. The bench just to the left of your screen is up and about. The students, they seem a little bit more composed on their bench. Now it comes to Walsh. He'll just watch it go to ground. Danilo's coming in, trying to get involved. Evan, Evan Danilo, he's played a superb role here today for his side. O'Regan has been a standout kicking a hat-trick. Morrison tries to clear it over the top. Nicely worked there by Allison, who's been superb also too for the Ds. That'll be the difference maker for this grand final if the Ds hold onto it. Goes down towards the centre wing, down towards the boundary line. Ds under enormous pressure, get the ball clear. Tries to go to ground with it and does. And the umpire will come in. And I've got a feeling we'll ball it up over there. Yep, he will. So can the Ds hold on or will the students have a late rally? Comes back for the Ds. They kick it over towards centre half forward. Down towards that line. It's just tapped out nicely there by the five in Willisie. And the Ds, they're really controlling that forward 50 position, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. They're just starting to show, well, not starting to show us now. They've been doing it the whole quarter. But they really are. They're dominating everything about their attack and their defence as well. They're just taking over uni completely now. And we're in the final minutes now. I think we've got about two, three minutes to go. And So a nice towering torp there from the students. But it, it will go out of bounds on the full. And Gibbons... Puts it dead. So that ball retrieval system is unique to the Division One competition. So Danilo goes and gets the footy from the stands. Really good sized crowd. They're on the broadcast side of the ground, which is the main grandstand side. But beautiful sunshine in Blacktown as Danilo goes long and strong in towards that right pocket. The Demons fly. Nixon tries to come through for them. Goes to ground with it. Ball goes to the turf. Eight points the margin. Inside probably the last two minutes of the grand final. Maybe less. Up it goes. Tapped away nicely by Gerrity. The students tap it loose, but now they've got possession on the boundary line. Will the Ds hold on and go back to back here in the Division One competition? Robbie now has possession, but gives it away to the students. And it'll go to Morrison over on that far side. Morrison goes laterally in front of the goals along full back line comes across the students now building they've got some space up the middle but the numbers need to be stronger comes over the top willis tries to come through saunders taps it he now gets the footy away goes over the top o'halloran kicks it over to the far side finds the 27 there in robbie 
Robbie now looks for some support. Kicks it inside centre half forward. Now they move it through Walsh. On to Morrison. Siren sounds. That's it in the grand final. Well, what a game of footy. Sydney Uni, they led by 20 points at one stage. But the fairy tale is complete for the Pennant Hills Demons. They go back to back in the Division One competition and they win it by eight points. 8 6 54 over the students, 6 10 46. The students started with a bang but unfortunately ended in a fizzle. What a game of footy, Molly Gray. That was such a great game. And like you said, Uni really came out firing and they were so strong and so dominant. But when you start like that, you have to be consistent. You've got to finish like that as well. And I mean, unfortunately, they couldn't do it. But fortunately for the Demons, I mean, they had a bit of a start slow, but the finish was spectacular. They were so strong and physical and just relentless throughout the entire game. So credit to them. That was an amazing grand final. Well, you can see the scenes on your screens there of the Demons celebrating another premiership. And unfortunately, just in the front ground, you can see the students commiserating their loss. They were superb today. They started really well. But it was that third term, the difference maker in this grand final. The Demons, they just controlled things nicely. They slowed down the play and they started to play their own brand of footy. And that's what won them the grand final here today at Blacktown. Wonderful scenes here at the International Sports Park. The Demons go back to back. Final score, 8 6 to the students, 6 10 46. Three more grand finals to go, and you'll be able to see all the action of the presentation of this grand final. That'll be coming up in just a moment. Um, congrats, Pano. You guys played great today. Um, and both finals, to be honest with you. Really good contest to always meet you guys. And enjoy the spoilers.
Texan, Mike and Green. Cracker, and the 9 one New South Wales versus North Shore. Stick around. 